You're listening to World of Empowerment Radio. Your station for practical spirituality in a changing world. And here are your hosts, Angel Rose and Ahanu. Hi, this is Ahanu and I'm in Sedona. And uh, the heat of the Arizona sun is bearing down even though it is not the summertime. <laughs> it's like this all year round. Interestingly, we have driven past Bell Rock thousands of times because we live in the village of Oak Creek. And never have I felt the energy of Bell Rock the way it is today. Now, it could be because I've come at it in a different direction and I feel dizzy from it. It's hard to describe, but there's a there's a strength of energy or, or a pulse or something that is making me dizzy and I just wanted to report that. <laughs> there may be more to follow but that's the important thing right now and I want to follow it as it unfolds. It certainly feels connected to the man we met the other day and Angel Rose has her own report about that but there seems to be some kind of activation going on. I'd love for you to take a look around and feel if it's possible at all just by looking and the weirdest thing happened too because i stopped at the foot of bell rock and decided that i wanted to put my feet on the bare ground so i took off my shoes and socks and put my feet on the bare ground as if i felt i needed some grounding of some kind And in the very grounding, the sensation was that this is all very 3D. Uh, there's nothing magic going on. It's all explainable by science. Uh, there's separation between me and it and everything else. Uh, the separation is real. Uh, this is what being grounded in Earth means and so with that I was very puzzled because I kind of expected and this is the problem with expecting stuff I expected that I would have some kind of insight into the energy that I was feeling or that I would have some kind of spiritual breakthrough or understanding like that but no, instead I got a very 3D understanding of what grounding is, uh, just being ground into the earth. So there's more to this, I know, but I'm keen to report the unfolding. And now it's just come to me like a download. And the grounding is all about the ego being grounded into the earth and into separation and three dimensions and all the rest of that and it therefore stifles understanding and the download and the insight that I did get was that I wanted to come here for some kind of insight and this might sound rigmarole bear with me that's what I was looking for I found the dizziness I found the grounding and then felt some kind of a, a barrier to my expectation. And I also came here with the egoic belief that I was bringing something to Bell Rock. And the realization I got was these rocks are being activated just the same way as pyramids and Stonehenge and Uluru and other sacred sites around the world are being activated. We've witnessed this ourselves in the past, Angel Rose and I, at various sacred sites. Indeed, I drew a picture one time of Newgrange in Ireland with what seemed to be like a plume of energy coming out the top. And then subsequently other people have reported seeing a kind of energetic plume coming out the top of the pyramids. Now, where am I going with this? I feel this is the very kind of place and there's not only one lots and lots of places around the world that are being activated and 
the other thing that hit me also was if you were to refer back to some videos that Angel Rose and I made about Shaco Canyon and how we parceled up all our crystal bowls and our drums and all the rest of it, expecting that we were going there to bring something or to open the, that, that particular chakra or to somehow cause it to activate. And what a shock we got when we found that we were not needed there at all, that the place was being activated by lots of other people just the same. And it's the same thing here. There are visitors to Bell Rock every day of the year, many thousands sometimes. And it's been activated. And we can try and claim all the credit we like that, oh, you know, it was because of us or whatever. No, these places are being activated by human consciousness, like it was in the beginning with the Lyrians. And uh, so that's the story that has come full circle now, and I'm really glad to be a part of it. But like I say, it's, it's you, it's me, it's everybody. We're all in it together and we're all doing it. That's what awakening is all about. So enjoy, it's super feeling. Now coming back from Bell Rock, back onto level ground, of course the intellectual mind kicks in and wants to understand it. And so I took a moment and I turned around and looked again at where I'd come from. And I get the same feeling from it. And the feeling is from Bell Rock. It's not from Courthouse Butte, Cathedral Rock, or the other um, well-known peaks around the place. It's not from them. It's actually from this particular location itself. So that's very interesting. Super feeling, blessings, and bye from myself, Ahanu, and from Angel Rose. You can subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and on our website at worldofempowerment.com. Don't miss an episode. Hit the subscribe button now.